Right, in other news, tremors were felt at one of the largest volcanic eruption sites in the island off the coast of Greece. After a minor earthquake struck the Greek archipelago, forcing authorities to order closure of the schools. Beneath the sun-drenched cliffs and sapphire waters of Santorini, a hidden force is awakening. A relentless swarm of earthquakes has begun to rattle the island, sending shockwaves of fear through the scientific community. Could this be the precursor to an explosive eruption, one that echoes the catastrophic blast that wiped out the ancient Minoan civilization over 3,600 years ago? The signs are growing more ominous. Increased seismic activity, rising magma, and eerie shifts beneath the Aegean Sea. Scientists are now sounding the alarm. This isn't just another tremor. The volcano beneath Santorini one of the most dangerous in the world, may be on the verge of unleashing its fury once more. How much time do we have before nature strikes again? What could this mean for the thousands of people living in its shadow? Stay with us as we uncover the terrifying truth beneath Santorini, before it's too late. Deep beneath the tranquil waters of the Aegean Sea, an ancient and restless force is stirring, a geological drama unfolding near one of Greece's most iconic islands, Santorini. Recent seismic activity in the region has transformed what began as a modest tremor into a full-blown earthquake swarm, catching the attention of the global scientific community and raising urgent questions about the future. On the evening of January 27th, a modest magnitude 2.0 earthquake was recorded approximately 20 kilometers northeast of Santorini. In an area where small quakes are not uncommon, thanks to a natural northeast trending fault line, this isolated tremor might have been dismissed under ordinary circumstances. However, within the span of just a single day, the region experienced the equivalent of nearly seven years' worth of typical seismic activity. Between January 29th and 30th, over 130 earthquakes were detected, signaling a significant departure from the norm. At the heart of this emerging unrest lies Colombo, a submarine volcano located in close proximity to Santorini. Colombo is not a stranger to violence. Its most infamous eruption in 1650 unleashed a deadly, explosive force that left a lasting mark on the region. Today's seismic surge is focused on this underwater system, stirring memories of past catastrophes and prompting urgent scientific investigation. Recent seismic data suggest the possibility of volcanic tremors, subtle signs that magma may be on the move. While some of these signals might be attributed to non-magmatic fluid activity, the pattern is enough to raise serious concerns about what might lie beneath the seabed. Imagine the volcanic system as a colossal pressure cooker on the verge of boiling over. Just as heat builds within a sealed pot, raising pressure until the liquid violently erupts, the movement of magma, measured through seismic waves and ground deformation, indicates that immense energy is accumulating beneath the ocean floor. Technical terms such as volcanic tremor and magma movement become the scientific equivalent of steam and pressure gauges in this high-stakes scenario, offering crucial clues to the volcano's next move. The distinction between Colombo and the larger Santorini volcanic complex is a subject of ongoing scientific debate. Some geologists regard Colombo as an independent entity, capable of generating its own destructive eruptions, while others consider it part of a broader volcanic system that includes the famous Santorini caldera. The current unrest, however, appears to be concentrated in an underwater chain of 27 volcanic vents, situated between 5 and 22 kilometers northeast of Santorini's northeastern shoreline, rather than on the inhabited islands themselves. Historical records remind observers of the immense power held in these volcanic systems. The ancient eruption that formed the modern Santorini caldera over 3,600 years ago reshaped the landscape and forever altered the course of regional history. Now, with renewed seismic activity and the subtle but ominous signs of potential magma movement, scientists are on high alert. Their meticulous monitoring of seismic waves, ground deformation, and gas emissions 
is driven by the pressing need to decipher the signals from the depths and predict whether this unrest might culminate in another catastrophic eruption. Colombo, the largest vent within the volcanic system northeast of Santorini, was the source of a catastrophic eruption in 1650, one of the most violent events in recorded Aegean history. The eruption triggered devastating pyroclastic surges and a powerful tsunami, resulting in at least 70 fatalities on Santorini. This explosive event reshaped the underwater landscape, leaving behind a massive three-kilometer-wide caldera and forever marking the region's geological history. Prior to the eruption, historical records suggest that the region experienced intense seismic activity, likely due to the intrusion of magma into the shallow crust beneath Colombo. Though precise records from the time are limited, written accounts from Santorini residents describe frequent earthquakes and an increase in hydrothermal activity. Fishermen and sailors reportedly observed strange disturbances in the water above Colombo, including bubbling, discoloration, and the emission of noxious fumes. These phenomena were likely caused by the release of volcanic gases and the heating of seawater as magma rose closer to the seafloor. The initial explosive phase of the eruption occurred when seawater came into direct contact with ascending magma, triggering a violent phreatomagmatic explosion. This interaction resulted in an enormous steam-driven detonation, which blasted apart the seafloor and generated an eruption column that rose several kilometers into the sky. The explosion ejected vast amounts of pumice, ash, and volcanic gases, which were carried by prevailing winds and deposited across Santorini and surrounding islands. As the eruption intensified, pyroclastic flows, fast-moving currents of superheated gas and volcanic material, raced across the water's surface toward Santorini. These surges, moving at speeds exceeding 100 kilometers per hour, 62 miles per hour, incinerated vegetation, destroyed buildings, and suffocated inhabitants caught in their path. At least 70 people perished, though the actual death toll may have been higher due to undocumented casualties among sailors and those in remote areas. Simultaneously, the collapse of part of the volcanic edifice triggered a powerful tsunami. This massive wave radiated outward across the Aegean, reaching Santorini's coastline and causing significant flooding. The force of the tsunami inundated coastal settlements, washing away boats, damaging structures, and further compounding the devastation already wrought by the eruption. The tsunami's impact was felt as far as Crete and other nearby islands, where water levels surged abruptly, damaging ports and coastal infrastructure. In the wake of the eruption, Santorini's landscape was transformed. Thick layers of volcanic ash and pumice blanketed the island, contaminating water supplies and rendering agricultural land temporarily unusable. Reports from survivors suggest that the air remained thick with ash for weeks, leading to respiratory issues and worsening the humanitarian crisis. The eruption also had significant climatic effects. The release of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere contributed to regional cooling, with historical climate records indicating a possible dip in temperatures in the years following the event. This atmospheric disturbance may have affected agricultural yields across the eastern Mediterranean, exacerbating food shortages and economic hardship. Colombo itself underwent dramatic morphological changes. The explosion created a large submarine crater approximately 3 kilometers, 1.9 miles, in diameter and 500 meters, 1,640 feet, deep. Today, this caldera remains one of the most active geothermal sites in the Aegean, with continuous hydrothermal venting and seismic unrest, suggesting that the volcano is far from dormant. Despite remaining relatively quiet in recent centuries, Colombo is far from dormant. Continuous hot degassing from multiple hydrothermal vents near its summit and periodic earthquake swarms serve as reminders of the restless forces beneath. Historical records indicate that previous phases of volcanic unrest have been marked by extended periods of seismic activity, lasting for nine months between 2006 and 2007 and six and a half months during 2021, 
each characterized by hours-long earthquake swarms. Currently, a new seismic swarm appears to be emerging. While less intense on a 24-hour basis than the major 2007 episode, this event is notable for its spatial distribution. Unlike previous swarms that were concentrated directly beneath Colombo and its chain of vents, the present activity extends beyond the conventional boundaries of the volcanic complex, hinting at a possible tectonic shift in the region. This deviation can be compared to a river suddenly diverting from its established course, suggesting an underlying change in the geological landscape. Most of the detected earthquakes are occurring at depths between 10 and 20 kilometers, significantly deeper than Colombo's known magma chamber, which lies between 2.1 and 4 kilometers beneath the surface. This pattern suggests that a new body of magma may be ascending through the crust along northeast trending faults that act as conduits for rising magma. However, deep intrusions of this nature rarely result in an eruption, and while a remote possibility exists, current evidence remains inconclusive. Colombo's magma chamber has been proven capable of producing a significant eruption, but the present activity does not yet justify heightened alarm. On a conceptual volcano unrest scale from 0 to 10, the current level is assessed as moderate, around a 5, indicating that while seismic tremors and magmatic movement are detectable, conditions have not escalated to a critical threshold. If Colombo were to erupt today, it might produce a moderately explosive underwater event. In this scenario, the eruption could release significant ash and gas and potentially trigger localized pyroclastic flows underwater. The rapid displacement of water might generate a localized tsunami with modest wave heights, likely in the range of 2 to 3 meters, affecting nearby coastal areas such as Santorini and other islands in the Cyclades. While the eruption would be forceful enough to disrupt local communities and infrastructure temporarily, it is less likely to trigger a cascade of volcanic activity in neighboring systems. Scientists believe that although the regional tectonics are complex, a direct chain reaction involving nearby volcanoes is improbable, meaning that any impacts would likely be contained to the immediate vicinity of Colombo. In a worst-case scenario, Colombo could unleash a catastrophic underwater explosion that drastically alters the seafloor dynamics. A massive eruption might displace a huge volume of water rapidly, resulting in a tsunami with waves potentially exceeding 10 meters, capable of inflicting severe damage on coastal settlements across the Aegean Sea. Such an event could lead to widespread devastation, including significant loss of life, extensive property damage, and long-term environmental impacts due to heavy ash fallout and toxic gas emissions. Although the direct triggering of nearby volcanoes remains uncertain and is generally considered unlikely, the enormous energy released by a catastrophic Colombo eruption could, in theory, perturb regional stress fields. This might increase the probability of minor, secondary volcanic activities in the area, further complicating emergency response efforts. The ongoing unrest warrants close monitoring, but at this stage, there is no immediate threat severe enough to disrupt normal activities, including travel to Santorini. Nevertheless, scientists continue to observe Colombo closely, recognizing that its past, marked by sudden and catastrophic eruptions, underscores the need for vigilance in this highly active volcanic region. Now, let's check the latest earthquake updates from around the world. February 1, 2025, seismic observations along the west coast began to reveal intriguing shifts. Northern California experienced a series of subtle tremors, while the southern Cascadia region registered motions that had previously gone unnoticed on mapping displays. Experts suspect that recent updates to the monitoring system, possibly prompted by earlier feedback, now capture smaller quakes that were once omitted, a change marked notably since the appearance of an SP pointer in December. In the vicinity of Mount Rainier, clusters of minor quakes were detected on the western side, indicative of a gentle but persistent seismic swarm. Across Washington, a network of 92 epicenters emerged, yet no significant disturbances were recorded, pointing to a generally stable situation in that area. 
Elsewhere in California, the seismic activity remained modest, with movements below a magnitude of 2.5, contrasting sharply with the more dramatic events observed near Yarrington, Nevada. There, a five-point magnitude event from several weeks prior had unleashed a cascade of aftershocks, 186 in the past 30 days, underscoring the complex dynamics at work beneath the surface. Further south in extreme Southern California, only a few microquakes were noted, contributing to a scene that, while scientifically rich, lacked major disruptions. Even in regions famed for their geothermal character, such as Yellowstone, the latest maps depicted a period of relative quiet. On a global scale, the most significant event within the last 24 hours was a 5.1 quake, a modest reminder of the planet's ceaseless tectonic energy. Although the activity appears subdued at present, these observations weave together a narrative of Earth's restless inner workings, promising that even the slightest tremor might herald the unfolding of a more dramatic geological story. A visual overview of January's seismic activity reveals a story of change and contrast when compared to the previous year. In the current period, including events from today, several magnitude 5 quakes have been observed, yet they pale in comparison to the intensity witnessed in January of 2024. Last January recorded an impressive 628 epicenters, with the most significant event reaching a magnitude of 7.5 off the western coast of Japan, accompanied by notable two seven-pointers and several magnitude 6 events. This year, however, the record shows a markedly lower count, 521 events of magnitude 4.5 and above, with the strongest tremor registering at 7.1 near Tobit, just north of the Himalayas. The dramatic drop in activity, nearly a hundred events fewer than the previous January, paints a picture of a quieter yet still dynamic Earth. Beyond these headline numbers, the broader global context reveals modest movements along the Ethiopia Rift boundary and incremental activity across the Aleutian Trench near Japan and Russia. In the Kamchatka Trench region, a magnitude 4.4 event was noted earlier this evening, and a significant cluster of quakes has recently emerged along the Aleutian Trench. This region, in particular, remains one to watch as it unfolds its own narrative of seismic unrest. Together, these observations offer a compelling glimpse into Earth's ceaseless tectonic rhythms, a delicate balance of quiet periods and sudden bursts of energy that continues to captivate scientists and storytellers alike. Current observations of space weather reveal a scene of relative calm, even though some lingering elevated readings have drawn attention. Recent adjustments in measurements have lowered reported activity levels to a modest range of around 1 to 5 percent. Despite the presence of a magnetically intricate sunspot region, its structure does not suggest any imminent potential for significant X-class flares. The possibility of witnessing another M-class flare appears slim. Unsettled conditions from the previous night persist into the evening, driven by a high-speed solar wind stream impacting the planet. Yet the overall solar complexity remains low. As the echoes of the recent tremors ripple through Santorini's ancient landscape, the unfolding drama serves as a stark reminder of nature's formidable power. Experts, vigilant and determined, are decoding the seismic clues from the earthquake swarm, each tremor hinting at the possibility of an imminent eruption that could reshape the region's storied past. Stay tuned, stay safe, and be part of the conversation as this extraordinary tale continues to unfold.